Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Eyr. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg brutes surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the brutes seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Minsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain, you will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Minsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stu Koff and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. So, hi everyone, welcome back. This is actually one of the coolest sequences, I kind of like this part. Fortunately, uh, I'm not getting control over these Valkyries who are now getting killed by it. They're destroying my fucking tanks! You asshats. Wow, ah, okay, I just lost a tank, thanks to these Valkyries that I can't control. Well, oh, now I get them. Fucking hell. Well, so you get Valkyries. And, uh, couldn't be a worse mission to get them on, honestly. It's like, why the fuck would, would they give this to me now? I don't even know. Can you kill that fucking drone? He's stealing my minerals. There you go. Let go of my minerals. Actually, I need some, I need a lot of uh, supply depots. So like, I'm gonna have like a fucking bunch of these guys make them. I kinda like these scenarios though. It's kind of a throwback to like Warcraft 3, uh, sorry not Warcraft 3. Uh, Warcraft 1, uh, 1 and 2. Where one of the modes you can start with was one peon only. And then you start like, a, you make an entire base from that. And that, that I always found to be like so much fun. That was the funnest thing in the world to me. Yeah, I think I, did I make the rest of, where are the rest of the fucking guys? I don't know where I put the rest of the SCBs. I, th I thought I had them somewhere else. I, I don't know. I, I have a very short term memory, what can I say? So, so like that was actually one, one of my favorite modes whenever I play multiplayer, because I always had this thing where, I don't know, like I like to play um, games like SimCity and shit, and, and those are some of my favorites. I always liked games where you start with humble beginnings and then like work your way up for an empire basically and so that's kind of what was what they appealed for that uh for that was for me i actually i had a lot of fun doing that uh but anyways so the plan today is uh basically i got a lot of uh, criticism for my uh apparent lack of respect for uh what is uh um vehicle warfare in, in starcraft so you know what fuck it i'll do it again and i'll i'll do it better that's what we're gonna do. I don't even need to land this engineering band. Let's go put this guy like over here somewhere. And then like fucking this guy could go over here. Okay, we need we need gas like immediately. So, um you know, people said, you know, I didn't use certain vehicles enough and I'm just like, well whatever. But you know. As I said, I, I never really did vehicle uh I, I like to use tanks, but I wasn't very good at it. I just kind of like to use them. That's that's kind of the gist of how I worked. Um, you know, as, as sad as that sounds. Let's go get, actually, this guy into a dropship to go both heal those things and to add a couple of uh, missile turrets around. So, this is like the worst mission to add this, this fucking Valkyries because it's like... Sensors show that the gate's energies are inciting the Zerg to attack. Be prepared for anything, Captain. 
So I guess we know what triggers the Zerg now. So there's, yeah, here's the here's your warp gate, and then this is uh, Rainer's command center. So luckily, the Buda's attacked me a little bit too. The, the the Valkyries just aren't really good for anything but like Zerg because the shields they don't really work well against with Brodas. You don't normally use them for anything like that. So that's why I'm kind of like whatever. I don't really understand why we got on this mission, but you know, if the Mutas are coming, then the Mutas are coming. I, I kind of forgot that they do that. I, I, I play this by ear, you know? I, I kind of just do whatever. It's, it's how I have fun with games. Alright, let's let's keep building a sizable army here. Actually, uh, we need to continue to heal, heal these uh, Valkyries. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's get some... Oh, we already, we already start with fucking siege mode? I love that. I should also mention that one of the other additions besides the Valkyrie to Brood War is uh, the addition of this is um, uh, Sh Charon Boosters, which is uh, basically, it's kind of interesting how the campaign works in this game. Um, the whole premise is that the reason why, well I think I mentioned this at the beginning, why the, the UED technology is so similar to the Terrans of this galaxy or whatever is that they just basically hired mercenaries. However, they did bring some technology from Earth, and one of that was Valkyries. And so, uh, whenever you're facing Mengsk or whatever, or, or if you're ever facing Terrans in this game, they never employ uh, Valkyries because they simply they don't have the technology. Um, the other thing they have they don't have is uh, the uh, Shard on uh, boost Char on boosters, whatever. Fuck, I can't pronounce it. They don't have it, uh, which is which is interesting. Um, so, like, in the last mission, for example, I was using it, the AI would not have had it. And it, all, it do, all it does is it upgrades the Goliaths to have the range of, uh, um, of, of basically guardians. Which makes them an effective anti-air kind of, a uh, kind of a unit at that point. Okay, let's go get one more in here. So, it's, it's kind of interesting how that, that changes the dynamics of the game a little bit, you know? Um, it was a very, very important addition because it's the Goliaths didn't actually have much of a role before that. I mean, they were sort of anti-air, but they weren't really because they they weren't really good at it. So it's like, well, you can't really say fucking go build Goliaths. And it, it was actually funny. I, I actually owned the the Prima strategy guide for this game, and it was like it was like Goliaths are the counter to Zerglings or something. They, they're very effective against countering Zerglings. Yeah, look that shit up. It's funny as hell. Because that, that's totally not what they're good at at all. Uh, you know, I don't need another missile turret. Fuck it. Uh, I'm just... I'm lazy. So, you know, it, it's 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 kind of funny because those strategy guides... That even one of the guys even came out and was kind of like, I wrote that and we only had like fucking three days to write an entire strategy guide for this game we've never played. And so... Uh, and so they're like, well, that kind of seems to work, and so that they just put, they just write whatever the fuck down for those strategy guides. So if you ever wasted money on one of those, fuck you. You're a total waste of fucking money. Congratulations for fueling the economy for the a billionth time. Let's let's keep as many SCVs as possible. I got I got funny shit to share all the time. As I said, my 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 experience with this game is very extensive because I've just spent so much time with it. Uh, you, you'd think I'd be better at fucking dealing with tanks, but no. No, just explain that one. I'm actually gonna get one more guy on gas. It's, I don't know, that's how I am. I made maps. I made lots of maps and played lots of UMS. Uh, but, you know, I used map settings. But I didn't do much else other than that. Fucking hell, like, it's just this, this mineral patch sucks. There's, like, I think a base, like, over here somewhere, and the Zergs are in the corners. And so, you're, you're just supposed to steamroll through the middle. That's basically all you're supposed to do. And so when I get like a, you know, when I get 12 tanks, then, then I'm gonna call it basically ready. Uh, we'll also get one more of these things and also some Goliath range because... Honestly, I find uh, Goliaths to be much better anti-air than Valkyries. Uh, Valkyries are only good against the tanks. Sorry, the tanks. Yes, they they directly counter siege tanks in siege mode by f hovering over them and pissing them off so they unsiege. No, um, I'm gonna start building more of shit here. 
Um, no, the tanks are, uh, the, the Valkyries just, it's just that the Butalisks group up so much and the missiles actually help. But, like, overall, though, they're just kind of fucking dumb. Because, like, six six per, per rocket, and you just saw their fire patterns, like, all over the fucking place. You have to have, like, you have to have, like, lots of them to, to do any kind of damage. Like, if you have, like, a Butalisk versus a Valkyrie, it's just, just fucking painful. I hate it. I hate life. Alright, let's get some vultures. Fuck. Supply depots. Oh, it's done. Alright, and we'll get that up. So, the idea here is just to have a bunch of tanks and then Valkyries and then... Right, yeah, that's it. I mean, the Valkyries will help at the beginning here. Yeah, fuck it, let's just bring up these things. Bring down these things and bring them, bring them down. Because, you know, there's no point in just delaying it until the end. Remember, I'm not getting, I'm not touching, like, uh, can I get battle cruisers already? Yeah, you can already get battle cruisers. And, uh, I'm not touching that. I think, I think this is, like, one of the missions that I made in my original LP, like, a battle cruiser victory fleet. And I got pissed off at myself because I'm like, fuck, I just, it's like the equivalent of using cheats, you know? I'm like, fuck it. No, I use them at the end, the last mission. Because I don't want to never use them because, you know, that's, it's still, they're still kind of fun to use, but... Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things that, you know, I, I don't want to fucking use them all the time. Because they're kind of cheap as hell. Uh, everything's cost two here. And I have an uneven amount of fucking resources. You can see that, oh wow, they even fucking have plague here. Wow. What are you on? Well, well, we're not going to deal with that. Alright, let's get some mines down. People were criticizing my lack of use of mines. Um... It totally warranted. I deserve the flack I got. I, I deserve the flack I always get. I, you know, you know, keep complaining about the stuff, because you know what? It's good. It, it only makes me better at everything. I'm the best. No. Alright, let's go bring this guy over here. I only really got this fucking science facility so I could keep upgrading everything. Uh, how many more tanks do I need? Just two more. Okay. No, no. Fuck it. Whatever. We're, we're, we're hauling out. Right, let's just bring all these guys over here. Alright, let's see what's up here. Come on! Alright, let's see if I can kite anybody. There we go. Check out this. Oh. And we'll bring Valkyries. Oh, no? Okay. Well, let's just go unsiege all these fuckers and bring them over here. That's delicious. <laughs> the great thing is, I think that the uh, the vultures are like almost 100% effective against uh, the shield. So if I start like attacking the shields here, yeah, no, well maybe not. I don't know. It's some it, it that's that's one of the reasons that so there's some fucking reason why they're effective against vultures. Okay, does everyone everyone come up? Everyone come on up here. And uh, I don't know. This guy will continue to be my my fucking slave and just make more shit there. All right, and then we're gonna make Glyce after this. Actually, Glyce, I don't need a fucking add-on for. I don't really know what. Whoa. All right, let me let me bring an SCV up to basically just repair that guy. All right, here you go. I have a base now. There we go. And I don't know. I got some more. I got some more vultures. I fucking love vultures, man. Oh, I don't even have fucking faster vulture speed. Yeah, I only needed one machine shop because now I can build fucking Goliaths out the ass. How did I not fucking know that? Actually, I, I think I did. I just repressed it or some shit. I must have. Uh, uh, where's the Valkyries? Just so we don't lose track of them. I know about the whole patrol trick, how you can make them fucking attack like... Actually, just go down to here, these guys. I don't know why the fuck you're dealing with that. There you go. Is that SCV still around? No, it's just... You know, whatever. We're gonna have so much money. Hey, I got 666 gas at one point. Oh, why did I notice that? Alright, so we can choose to go steamroll through this, or... I think we can go without it. 
Uh, whatever, we'll just kill that fucking thing this mode. Uh, just siege everybody. Oh god. Oh god, that guy's so dead. Wow, okay. Okay, there we go. And they're attacking my ship. Wow, missile turrets, man. No, don't- what the hell is he doing here? He has the fastest fucking bike and decides to bring it over there. Alright, let's just build, build some more tanks. Yeah, you know what? I don't fucking need these guys for this. Actually, I only have two Goliaths, so I probably will. Yeah, we'll just steamroll down this way. Oh god. Let's just build, find some fucking mines all around. Oh god. No, damn it! It fucking super range. Okay. Oh, well, let's go siege over here. There you go, use the mines, okay? Watch, watch. Oh, great, no, it's not gonna work. It, you slow- you ensnared fucking tanks! Hope you're proud of yourself. Fucking dickhole. Fucking ensnaring tanks. Must feel really impressed. He's just going home to fucking brag to his friends. Like, I show those tanks his boss. Oh, there's still another fucking thing here. Uh, I feel- I feel- I feel compelled to fucking kill it. Cause it, I know it's gonna just attack my shit while I'm like, passing by. Alright. Uh, that pours a lot. Don't you fucking size from this. Alright. What the hell were they- what was it? Oh, fucking Dragoon killed some of my shit. Apparently. Ah, 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 okay, good. Actually, I'm doing much better with this, thanks for your advice. I mean, I just kind of steamrolling up. Oh god. Don't size for me, don't size for me. Kill him first! Thank you. Alright, let's just go point a bunch of fucking lines here. Oh god, Jesus Christ. Watch this micro! Oh wow. Fucking amazing. There we go. I don't know if we can just make it up there, but hopefully I can. Uh, let's make some, some more glass after this. Actually, no, I just want fucking vultures out the ass. Which I can't, I can't produce anymore. Actually, I have a shit ton of shit th things over here. No, no, every, everyone ignore them. Pretend they're not even there. I swear, the, pro the products are like, anti like visiting like your parents or something. It's like, no. Don't, don't stare. Don't look at them. Don't turn around. Shit, no! Don't die, thank you. You know, I really don't have a whole lot of Goliaths. But do I need them? Uh, I, have def I have defense matrix, so it'll, it'll save me. Yeah, I think I'm good, I think I'm good for it. Wow. Run observer. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go through the middle, actually. Just gonna look at the, the edge of the- Fuck, there's no ramp. For my massive fat tanks. Alright. Now- What? What? Why are there so many Zerg? Oh god. Vultures, come save the day. Well, we're just gonna fucking shell the shit out of you while we just kinda hang out here. We're gonna just chill. Look at that, look at that fucking range, I love it. What?! Holy shit, fucking smart AI. I applaud you. Alright, so... What we're gonna do, do is employ, oh god, uh, Valkyries. Ah. Valkyries prepared, come on. Oh, uh, oh, uh, clusterfuck. Okay, so they are useful, I maybe lied. And they, once again, they ensnare me. Oh, okay, let's go build a shit ton of guys again. And I think I'm pretty good with- Oh, I can actually do more vehicle upgrades. I have a shit ton of money, don't judge me. Transmit orders. Ah. Alright, so we're gonna move these guys up here. One of the cool things we can actually do is we can- I think we can- No, we can't queue it up. Okay, sorry, I'm thinking about StarCraft 2. I, th I, I thought I'd just move them all here and then- 
just kind of fucking just siege him up there and be a total baller, but I forgot that that doesn't exist in this game. Oh god. Oh, there goes a tank. Tanks for nothing. Uh, shitty joke. Okay, there's unfortunately gonna be a guy right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, these guys need to get up here right now. Because the carriers are gonna kick my fucking ass. EMPM, thank you. Uh, let's just, because I don't have a whole lot of them, let's just uh, defense matrix them. I figured that would be a little bit on the smart side. Oh my god, there's more of them. I don't have any more defense matrix available. But luckily that actually that actually worked. Like that worked really well. Uh, much better than I actually anticipated it would. Cuz uh well, I'm actually alive. That's that's a, that's a, that's a really good sign. Could probably use another fucking factory or whatever. All right. Let's uh Let's move up a little bit. That defense matrix is like 250 shield or something. It's fucking godsend. I love it. Now, I'm having fun with this. I should. I, I don't know why I didn't just do this from the beginning. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Kill it! Thank you. I'm near my vultures. Okay, let's build another fucking thing for. Her. Let's let's just build. These are these are going to be the basically the um, the the fuck you vultures factories. Fuck, I have, like, no space in this base at all. Story of my life. Alright, we have this little over here. Oh, for Christ's sake! Where's the Valkyries? Do I even have them anymore? I think they all fucking died. Oh, thank God they're fucking dumbasses and just ran into here. Yeah, just fucking, just make a wall of fucking things. Alright. Uh, so we need to figure out how to get to Rainer's base over there. It's probably just like I, I know I know how this fucking thing works and the, the this terrain can't block me Stop doing that Goliath god damn it. They're just going away we Need more of them okay, Hopefully hopefully these what the fuck just happened to this base? God, they're all gonna fucking die. Alright, we can finish this mission without having to re-expo. Oh my god! Did I, did I tell them to do that? Did, did I did I really tell them to do that? I think they were chasing something. God damn it, Goliath. And I just lost a tank over there. Alright. We can do it. We just need a position to shell them from. Uh huh. Oh wait, no, they're not coming for me. Okay, just everyone, just go plant. Oh wait, no, no, kill that guy. Kill the probe. Oh god. I, all I want to do is fucking leave this place. Let me go up here, okay? Then and then I will cover my my. Oh god. No, go up. Right. Oh shit. Oh, that guy's so fucked. How are you getting sight up there? Thank you. Oh my god, and once again, my Goliaths have suicidal tendencies. Oh, I have a lot more shit here. Just, I, I know there's an SCV in that group, I don't care. Uh, more Goliaths. We need to replace all the ones we, we keep losing. I could probably hotkey those factories, but do you, are you aware of how lazy I am? Pretty lazy, I'll tell you that. It requires a finite amount of effort, which I'm not willing to put into this. Oh, fuck. Well, you know, one of the cool things is tanks can kind of shoot and scoot, so... In case you didn't know that, you know that now. Okay, Goliath, you're not- you're here to fucking do anti-air, okay? What? Oh! They're going through here. I didn't know that. Well, that's okay. That's- that's probably why I'm actually losing half of them. So what you can do is you can set a rally point and then put them over there. That's the, probably the smarter things to, to 
one of the smarter things to do. Well, you know, we're almost, we're basically on Rainer's fucking front door, so, you know. Just fucking plant a bunch of mines. Plant mines! Thank you. Most of them are out of mines. I like how there's missile turrets there. Ah, you thought I was going to use air, didn't you? Guess they proved you wrong. Come on, put that shit over here. And I didn't have to even build more tanks. I did totally without them. I am sure proud of myself. Okay, just, just kill, just kill Rainer. Target his command center. Man, those Zergs just never let up. Good work, Captain. The command center is destroyed, but it looks like Minx and Raynar will try to escape through the warp gate. Make ready to move in and intercept their vessel before... Wait, I just picked up multiple Zerg signals coming in from the northeast. That's Duran's position, but he seems to have moved his forces out of place. Lieutenant Duran, this is Stuka. Come in. I'm tracking a massive Zerg swarm in your quadrant. Respond, dammit! That is strange, Vice Admiral. My scanners don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. Lieutenant, if these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Duran! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter to take care of. And Zergs. I think a couple of Valkyries can't solve. <laughs> And that's uh, the dropship. All right, bring it on. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.